Hey everyone, it's Jillian here from onceuponatimefitness.com. Um, this is going to be kind of a quick um, video, but I really wanted to put something out there because everybody is super concerned about what's going to happen now that Wirecard went down. So just a quick background, um, Payoneer and many, many, many other companies throughout the world use Wirecard for their card services. So Mommy. your take two, I don't usually try to make videos while my kids are awake because that just doesn't work out, but I did want to get this out here. So everybody's freaking out. Wirecard went down. Nobody knew what Wirecard was before, right? Like half the people here did not know that it was Wirecard that was, you know, dealing with our Payoneer card. Um, if you have a Payoneer card, nobody really knew what it was before today, but today or for the past couple of days since Wirecard went bankrupt, um, everybody's like, where's my money? What's going to happen to my money? So I tried to contact customer service yesterday. I wanted to get an answer for you guys because I know everybody wants an answer and I figured it would just be really helpful to be able to get one answer to give to everybody regardless of where you live because there were so many rumors going around. It's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect only people that have the card. It's going to affect people in the UK only. Nobody really knew what it meant. So I tried to contact customer service yesterday. They must have been really busy. I waited on hold until six o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is when they close. They disconnected my phone call and said they'd give me a call back during their business hours. So I figured, okay, I'll call them the day. Couldn't get through, and then I realized, okay, it is actually Saturday, and that's why I can't get through. So if you go on to Payoneer, and you can do this yourself too if you would like to see it. If you go on to Payoneer.com, there's actually a community section. So in this community section, in this community section, you can ask questions, and you can get answers from other people. So I'm going to read you the... I guess official notices that Payoneer said um, in these questions that were asked because that is the best that I can give you right now. Okay, <clears throat> so somebody asked, Wirecard is on the news, its CEO, its CEO resigned in the stock market crash due to failing regulatory checks with $1.9 billion missing or unaccounted for. Um, my Payoneer card is, is issued by Wirecard Solutions. What role does Wirecard wire card play in regards to our pay and air funds is our money safe and why and an administrator from pay and air actually responded to this and their answer was hi in regards to recent news reports about wire card we can confirm that the funds stored on your pay and air pay pre on your pay and air prepaid mastercard are safe and secure so this affects the MasterCards as well. It's not just like some people were saying just in the UK. Your Payoneer prepaid MasterCard is an e-money product issued by Wirecard Solutions Limited, regulated in the United Kingdom by the FCA, which is the Financial Conduct Authority, reference 900051, as an authorized e-money issuer. Wirecard Solutions Limited complies with the requirements of UK Electronic Money Regulations 2011, which are designed to ensure the safety of the funds stored on your card. Even though in the unlikely event of insolvency of Wirecard Solutions Limited, the funds held on your card would remain secure as they are held in safeguarded accounts at regula regulated credit institutions in the EEA and designated as customer funds. So, you're not going to lose your money. Okay, so um, a lot of people were replying like, okay, that doesn't answer. Like, what does that mean? Like, our funds are, like, what does that mean? Okay, so this was posted on June 23rd um, and updated on June 25th from Payoneer. It's a blog post in the Payoneer blog. Um, it is from Payoneer. So this is an official notice from Payoneer. And it says, you may have seen reports that Wirecard AG has filed for insolvency and you're wondering what this means to you as a Payoneer customer using a Payoneer prepaid MasterCard issued by Wirecard. One of our core values at Payoneer is transparency, which is why we're addressing the issue directly. We hope that in sharing the details, you will be reassured that your funds are securely held in safeguarded accounts and you have no cause for concern. Safeguarded accounts are bank accounts where your funds are held in trust for your benefit. Payoneer works with many banks and financial service providers around the world, both in developed and emerging markets. Our global infrastructure is built in a way that empowers you 
to do business globally as easily as you can locally. One of the providers we work with is Wire Card, Card Solutions Limited. Thank you. Funds stored on your Payoneer prepaid MasterCard are safe and secure. Your Payoneer prepaid MasterCard is an e-money product issued by Wirecard Solutions Limited, regulated by the FCA. Um, it has to comply and does comply with the requirements of the UK electronic money regulations, um, which means that they have to safeguard the money that their customers give them to hold on to. Although it's a subsidiary within the Wirecard group, it shares the same brand. They are entirely an, an entirely independent entity with their own board, their own regulatory and capital requirements and subject to regulatory oversight and accounting standards in the UK. So Wirecard Solutions Limited is, a, is not the exact same. They have their own, like everything as, they, they're independent from the Wirecard group. They have the same brand, but they're independent from the Wirecard group. As they are independent, your card is not impacted and you can continue to use it as usual. Nonetheless, we work with other issues, including, we work with other issuers, including our own, and we're working on contingency plans to ensure we maintain continuity and redundancy now in the future. And in the unlikely event of insolvency of Wirecard Solutions Limited, funds held on your card remain secure as they are held in trust in safeguarded accounts at regulated credit institutions in the UK and the EEA and designated as your funds. Um, so then there are some FAQs on here that I'm gonna go through. Hopefully you don't get a streaker. Are the funds held on my Payoneer MasterCard issued by Wirecard safe? Yes, they're issued, they're, they're safe. What is the relationship between my card issuer, Wirecard Solutions Limited and Wirecard AG, which is at the center of the story? Wirecard Solutions is a subsidiary within the Wirecard group and they share the same brand but they are entirely independent with their own board, their own regulatory, their own capital requirements and are subject to regulatory oversight. Wirecard Solutions Limited is profitable and sound according to company's house filings and the money from you, the money they hold from you is totally ring fenced. So even though this one wire card is claiming bankruptcy and they're going out. It sounds like the wire card that actually holds the cards is safe, but Payoneer is creating a plan just in case that changes. And I am not a banker, so please, if anybody, when I'm reading this, if anybody like hears anything that they think is like I'm saying is wrong, please correct me and discuss in the comments below. Okay. Um, Question number three was, now that Wirecard has filed for bankruptcy, what happens to my Payoneer prepaid MasterCard issued by Wirecard? And it says it's an e-product issued by Wirecard, which is the independent subsidiary. So the card service continues without interruption. There's no problems. Um, if my Payoneer card, if my Payoneer prepaid MasterCard issued by Wirecard becomes unavailable, what options do I have? And they said, this is a very unlikely income. This is a very unlikely outcome. But if it does happen, you're still going to get paid in your Payoneer account, um, and they're going to hold your funds in your balance. So you, like, it's just going to be like, if you don't have a card, how it goes through your Payoneer card, or if you don't have a card, it goes through your Payoneer account, and you transfer it to your bank from there, or however you do it, that's what, how it's going to work. Th which is how I do it right now. Like I got a card, but I don't use it because I don't like the fees that are attached to it personally. I prefer to just transfer it to my account for less fees. If that happens, and for some reason in the future, the card holding company portion of it becomes bankrupt and they're not working anymore for whatever reason, then it's okay. You're paying your money is just going to get paid. Mommy. Like your future payments will go in there. It won't go on your card and any funds that you have right now will be held in your balance. So um, from there you can withdraw your funds to your local bank, make a payment, utilize other Payoneer services and they're also looking at contingency plans to ensure that you'll be able to use your Payoneer prepaid, prepaid MasterCard without interruption. So as of right now it's not going to affect anybody. That's what Payoneer is saying. Um, so if you have any other questions about this, 
You can call Pioneer on Monday. They're not open right now. Or you can live chat them on Monday. Like I said, I tried to do it and they're not open right now. You don't need my headphones or my iPad, honey. Um, they're not open right now. I tried. I was going to try to get an answer for you and record the, the phone call so you could get it like directly from the horse's mouth. The best thing I can get for you right now is the blog post. I did a lot of, I did a little bit of digging and that's what I found. So it sounds to me like everybody's money is okay. I know that everybody's freaking out. You have reason to freak out. It's your money. It's your livelihood. I get it. But it sounds to me like it's two completely different things. The, company that holds the money is okay the company that does the other financial services is not okay your money is safe regardless because it's protected it has to be protected to be in compliance now for anybody that can't use their wire card just going through the blog post right now somebody said because there are some people saying that um their cards weren't working the card stopped working their card stopped working Somebody else said, I just had a chat with them. They wrote to me that they're facing technical issues due to the situation with Wirecard. They told me not, they don't need to worry. It's going to be fixed within a few days and they will send us an email as soon as they fix the problem. So if your cards are not working, it seems like that is supposedly unrelated to it directly and it just has to do with a technical issue with the cards and you should be able to access your cards later on as soon as this technical issue is resolved within a few days. Um, and that post was from yesterday, so maybe like Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. On Monday, I'm gonna try to get in touch with somebody and try to get answers for you guys. I feel like everybody's pr trying to do that right now, <laughs> and I don't know what luck I'm actually going to have with it, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways, because I know that I care about my money, you guys care about your money, everybody cares about their money. As of right now, it looks like your money's still coming, you're still gonna get your money, even if you do put it on the card. Um, it's protected. It has to be protected by law. So again, I am not a banker. I wish if you if you see somebody that is a banker that is like a financial savvy financial guru YouTuber and they explain it I would welcome you to put the link to their video in the comments below so we could all get a little bit more information my personal opinion is they're saying nobody's going to be affected because they're separate entities so the card portion this is how I'm reading it. The card portion and the, the one that went out of bankrupt, like they're not the same company. They have the same branding, but they're not the same company. So it would be like, so it would be like Walmart stores go out of business, but walmart.com still works. Like those are different companies, but they're still the same brand name. So Walmart stores could be out of business, but walmart.com would still be up and running. So you'd be worried like, oh, I had an order from walmart.com. What's going to happen? It's still coming to you because the Walmart stores don't affect the walmart.com. That's how I'm reading this right here. It doesn't seem like there's anything to worry about, but of course, fear of the unknown. It's our money. Our money is our livelihood. Totally get it. So I'm going to look into this further and I'll update you on Monday. This is all I've got for you today. I will see you guys all later and um, I hope that helped you guys. Make sure you click subscribe and click that bell notification so when you do get that video or when I do post that video from Payoneer, it is um, available to you right away and you get the answers that you want. All right, guys. I'll see you guys all later. I'll see you guys all on Monday. Bye, guys.